to the Strong Mom channel. My name is Denise and I'm the founder and creator of Strong Mom, building your strong body from the inside out. Now, today's workout is a side plank abs workout. I made this specifically for moms who have had a C-section and for moms who are healing from diastasis recti, AKA mommy tummy. And the reason we wanna start building up our core strength uh, doing side planks is number one, I know you guys wanna to get to doing planks, but we wanna build up doing side away first as opposed to you know going right into prone planks, which puts a lot of pressure onto our abdomen wall, and which might not be the best thing if we're healing abdom uh, abdominal separation, and also might not be the best if you have a diastasis recti. And I'm gonna tell you, after having a baby, all those internal muscles, I'm not talking about your six pack abs, I'm talking about your deepest core muscles, your transverse abdominis, we need to retrain those muscles before going to harder things like planks. So in order to do this workout, I wanna make sure that you know how to activate your transverse abdominis. You can find out how to do that here in this video. Um, also, if you know how to contract your pelvic floor muscles, um, you can also be doing that while we do these side plank exercises. So are you ready? Let's get started. We're gonna start by coming down onto the ground and we're gonna start by stacking our body on top. So I want you to stack your knees on top of each other, your hips on top of each other, and you're in a nice straight line. So, right, I'm not like, you know, bent over in a C shape, nice and straight line. Think about all the way down my ear side of my body. All right, from here, what we're gonna do to get into the proper plank position, I want you to take a look at this first. When I'm in a proper plank position, I want that elbow directly underneath my shoulder. So I don't want it to look like this, okay? See how that's on an angle? We don't want that. So to make sure that you set yourself prop properly, bring that arm in closer to the side of your body than you think you need to, and so that when you pop up, they're directly aligned, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with those knees bent. I'm gonna kind of be on an angle for you guys to see the best. All right, so what we're gonna do first is inhale, Expand in our ribcage on the exhale. I want you to contract your transverse abdominis and come up. I want you to still be holding your transverse abdominis. I always liken it to a seat belt tightening here. Let's hold for the last two seconds and come down. From here, we're gonna pulse it. And exhale, come on up. Inhale down, two. Last one, and I want you to hold it here for five. Keep this turned on. Three, two, and one. Come on down, nice job. Okay, so that is one way to do your side planks with on your knees. My preference, and this is up to you and how you like to do your side planks, I really like to have my top leg extended out. Now remember, there's a lot of ways to do planks. I'm showing you guys how to start and how to progress it after having a baby, okay? So we're not going full crazy like stuff yet, all right? Okay, so knees are lined. We're gonna do that again. Inhale first, exhale, come on up. Keep contracting that transverse abdominis while you're breathing. Last three, two, and one. Bring it down and pulse up, exhale. You can bring that hand up if you want. Exhale, contract transverse abdominis. Inhale, let it go. Last one. Let's hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Ooh, I'm feeling my shoulders now. All right, let's come on down and do the other side. So we're gonna start on both those knees first. Bring that arm in, nice and close. Inhale first and exhale. Come on up, arm here if you want. And holding that transverse abdominis. Last two seconds. Let's pulse it here. Inhale down, exhale up. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. All right. Ooh, okay. Leg extended out. All right. Inhale first, exhale. Come on up. Let's hold it here. Keep your deep core contracted for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale down. Exhale up. Last one. Hold it here. I know it's burning for four, three, two, 
And one. Ooh. Okay. On to the other side. Okay, anytime, take a drink. You need to take a break. Go ahead. Okay, so coming back down to the ground. And I'm going to give you your options. So if you want to um, come onto your knees, actually, no, for this one, we can't be on our knees. One knee only, the other leg is going to be up here. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Inhale first, and as you come up, you're going to stay here. Keep your abdominals contracted. Top leg is going to do these little pulses. So it's up to you. I mean, you're not going to be whacking your leg way up high, but we're just doing little gentle pulses. Remember, this is a core workout, so it doesn't matter how much you're doing with your leg. I just we're really trying to um, strengthen in here. All right, we're going to go for five leg lifts. Are you ready? Inhale first. Exhale. Hold it here. Keep the transverse abdominus contracted. And as you exhale, lift that leg up. Inhale down. Woo. Last two. And bring it down. Woo, nice job. Switch over, other side. All right, same thing. Inhale first, we're going for 10 of those leg lifts. Remember, every time you exhale, that's when you're bringing that leg up. I think I did 
this. One too many or one not enough. All right, I hope you're feeling good about this, ladies. And don't feel bad if this is really hard, right? You can always go back to doing the side planks. Okay, so we're gonna come back to those clamshells and then we'll do the rainbow legs. So, just to remind you, this is our clamshell. All right, if you're ready. P.S. If you're at home doing this workout, I am sometimes doing it in my living room and I have a shag carpet. It's actually nice to grab onto that shag carpet if you're finding yourself a little bit unstable. All right. Inhale first. Exhale up. We're going for eight. in the private Strong Mom Community Facebook group so you can know what and what you need to do to get rid of the mommy tummy, to get rid of the low back pain, and to get rid of the embarrassing leakage. So maybe you're experiencing some sneeze pee every time you sneeze or run or jump or pick up something heavy. And these are very common postpartum symptoms, but we can do something about it and we can fix it. So I've got all the links down below and if you have had um, a C-section, I've got C-section workouts for you and I've got more diastasis recti workouts. Just click it below. And moms, please make sure to share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got three videos for you every single week. I hope to see you in the next video.